How's it going, everybody? Poser Mobile here, bringing you another absolute banger of a platinum. Today, we've got our old pals over at East Asia Soft bringing us Turret Rampage, and that's for $5 on the PlayStation Store with Frostbite. Go ahead and start up the first level and get used to the controls. Left stick to rotate the turret and cross the chute. There is a trophy for rotating the turret 300 times, so while we're working on this first level, go ahead and be rotating as often as you can. Alright, go ahead and reload the first level once you've finished it. This time, just let yourself lose without taking a single shot. And again, reload the first level, and this time you're going to fend off the dudes until about the 15 second mark, then stop shooting altogether. The idea here is to lose with under 5 seconds to go. Go ahead and reload it again. This time let the first two attackers hit you, then fend off the rest until you finish the level to get the trophy for surviving with one life left. You may or may not need to reload a few more times just to grind out the trophy for letting the defenses that kick in when you get hit defeat 75 attackers. I chose to just grind it out here as they're pretty stacked up on the first level. Alright, head on over to level 2. This introduces these floating rock things. You need to shoot them with square to take them out. Also in this level, whenever you have a second, go ahead and move up here and shoot the wall as many times as you can. You want to have 30 shots against the wall by the time you finish the level. On the third level, just adding a new attacker, these weird axe things, which you just need to hit twice with frost to take out. Alrighty, on to level 4, same deal here. You've got these new scythe guys, and you have to hit them with square and then cross to take them out.
Level 5 introduces these little guys, and this is where you can get the Seismologist Trophy. You have to hit Triangle to turn them into these little dog things, which you can then hit with Frost to take out. But try to wait until you have at least two on screen, or they're about to hit you. You have to change three of the little dudes at the same time. It's a little bit luck based, but your triangle ability will hit things just off screen as well. So you might luck out with only two on screen when you do it. Level 6 doesn't introduce any new attackers, but it does add a giant laser beam that will take up an entire tunnel. It'll kill you in one shot, but it'll kill any attackers in the tunnel as well, so just don't get hit. Level 7 is going to add these weird cloud tooth looking guys. They're at the opposite of the scythe guys. You want to hit them with cross and then square. This level has everything previously added going on so it can get hectic, but I believe it. Finishing level 7 will unlock a sort of endless mode, and that's where we're going to grind out what's left of the Enemy of Ghosts trophy. I finished this one in right around 15 minutes, and it was genuinely entertaining, so that was a nice change of pace. That'll do it for me though, everybody. If you plan on getting this one, leave a like, subscribe for more, and comment down below which number platinum this was for you. It was number 839 for me.